Here's a fish. Oh, it came back. So we're up on the river today. It's spring, late spring. The river's come up a lot since summertime flows. It's not really high though. We don't have much snowpack this year. So it's probably about as high as it's going to get. It actually was up a little higher about a week ago, but it's dropped back to a little below normal summer flows. We're not really sure what's gonna happen. It's that time of year where you could see caddis, you could still see betas. You can always catch some fish nymphing. And then uh, I'm gonna try some streamers to just get you know right out of the gates to see what I can move with some streamers. And then maybe if that doesn't work, we'll work into some nymph fishing. And with any luck, we might even see some risers. Unlikely the water's still pretty cold, but if we see a riser or two, we might throw some dries. But for now, let's see if they'll eat a streamer. Well, nabbed a little guy, felt bad for me, ate my streamer. I missed a couple other bumps, I had one decent brown on for a sec, but it came loose, and then the little baby fish decided to t take pity on me. So we're trying the streamer, we're getting a few on it, certainly not fast and furious, and Brigham has like an insect on the lens, I don't know what his problem is. Got him. Little pause in the retrieve. And a fish. Yeah, better little brown. Still not a big fish, but fun nonetheless. And a streamer, off he goes. So, just for everybody at home, this is too close to fish. We were fishing here, and now we have neighbors. If I can easily cast to you, you're too close. That one just about took the rod out of my hand. Not a big fish, but he really socked it. Barbo's hook slips right out. Beautiful wild brownie again. Adios. streamer right here before we lose his spot. Thought maybe a fresh fly might change things a little. Oh, there it did. There was one. Little guy in front leg. And it came back. Maybe a rainbow going crazy. Fat little rainbow. So we worked this spot a fair bit, caught a couple fish, missed a few more. Then fishing slowed down for a sec, so we just changed flies. We had a little fat little rainbow, pretty white tipped fins. Wants to get back, I don't blame it. So a little fly change made a difference. 
Fresh colors sometimes will produce more fish. If you're not moving, not covering a lot of water, always a good idea to change flies. Nymphing, dries, streamers, all that. Doesn't matter, just give them something different to look at if you've already shown them what you have on. There's a couple of things we ought to show you that make streamer fishing a lot easier. One, uh, rigging wise, I've got a sink tip line on. Flows are up, I want to get flies down. When the water's really low, I usually can get by with just a floating line and weighted streamers. Right now I have tungsten streamers and a sink tip. So that helps get down to depth. The next trick when you're streamer fishing, and this also applies when you're fishing lakes and retrieving flies, but generally speaking, anytime you're retrieving flies, you want your rod tip very low. It doesn't have to be subsurface, but it needs to at least be close to the surface. The reason for that is if I hold it up like this, the rod tip absorbs all the strikes, and I won't feel very many of them, and I can't get tight to the fish very quickly. And you don't want to rod set anyway, you want to strip set, so you want to have that rod low so you have a straight line connection to your flies, and when the fish eat, you're going to pull with the rod hand, sorry, you're going to pull with the non-rod hand. So we're going to send the cast out, let it sink for a sec, let it settle in there. I sometimes mend the line between uh, the time that I make the cast and the time that I want to retrieve to try and keep a straighter connection or to allow the the rig to get a little deeper and then once I start retrieving I'm running it through my my rod hand so I have control of it I have a predictable place to come back to to find line I keep my rod really low when a fish eats strip set like that except that's the bottom <laughs> that's what I get for going slow all right I just got this one on the bottom this is what Cheech calls tree pounders he hardly ever catches fish but he catches a lot of tree pounders and he eats a lot of destroyed nachos. There's a fish. Going slow. Kept the rod low. Feel the strike. Then strip set. Fish on. This one hasn't fought all of its wiggles out yet, but fun brown. Not too big, but Nice when you're only a few minutes from work. Oh, splashed your rig. I think you deserved that. Oh, that was a good jump. We'll take that. All right, we slid down a little to where the pool shallows just a bit. I don't know if it's whether we're getting down to the bottom more or uh, just there's more fish in that part of it, but they're coming a little faster now. Must be a rainbow again, it's going for dirt. I deserve that. You called it a rainbow. I called it a rainbow. It's <laughs> fair. I deserve that. I called that poor brown a rainbow. They don't like that. See that? I didn't call that one a rainbow. Got a little brownie to the net on the streamer. All right, I think we've established that they will eat the streamer. I wouldn't say a streamer bites on fire, but we've just got a couple of streamers. Top fly is tied to a tag, point fly maybe three feet behind it. You could sometimes even fish three if, it, if rules allow in your state. Uh, cast them, cover some water, make sure your strip setting, keep your rod low. Get some fun fishing in with the streamers. All right, we got quite a few stripping streamers. Thought we'd do a little cleanup with the jig streamer on the Euro rig. Fish and use water, but we'll see if we can get a few anyway. He 
ate it. All right, let's slide up just a little. Oh, look at that. Just found that on the log. Cheech must have been fishing here lately. Cheech, you're gonna need stronger line. I'll keep it for you, I'll bring it back to you, don't worry. Safe and sound in the CNF. Mm -hmm. brown that hasn't released its wiggles. There it goes. <laughs> Adios. So we're, we've already fished through here stripping streamers, but uh, we thought we'd try it with the jig streamer on the Euro setup too, just to see if the fish only want it one way, but so far they're liking it either way. Not too particular. Still rolling, so if you get one. Okay. Like that. Oh, mama. That one is mad. The jig streamer have quite a bit lighter tippets, so I have to be a little bit more ginger on fighting them. I have to give a bit more. The other one I had 2x and I could put the wood to them. This one, we gotta be a little soft with. Fish. Oh, splash jig in. Jig streamer's working. Little guy. So you see him fly? Nope. Oh, brown. Tiny little guy. Another one on the streamer. Fish. Well, I don't think you can cheat from land that one. <laughs> she would have broke it off. In this one. Nice. My fly was dangling out there. <laughs> I was not trying to fish this one. That's pretty crazy. He was just dangling out there. Just released that last fish. While we were trying to take a little release shot like this, I had my fly dangling out in the current. Oh, he just got you. I had my fly dangling out in the current, and I was releasing with one hand, holding the rod out, and boom, fish ate the other fly. 
or the, my, my only fly, I should say. Needless to say, the fishing is okay. It's a good time to be out on the water. <laughs> that little guy. Brig, have you ever wondered what you might look like when you're older? We'll see. Oh, he just ran straight into my boot, dude. Did he? <laughs> just, slammed. just slammed your boot? 